Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that we're going to talk about today is another episode of The View, where they go on some anti-gun talking points. But this time, there is a Republican governor who's actually up on his game, can communicate, and makes them look pretty silly. Everything will be linked in the description box below, and I can't wait to hear from you guys in the comments, because this is how you refute these points. And as always, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bell on to spread some freedom, and then we are going to get this, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. And today's content is brought to you by Lear Capital. Now, all of us know what time it is, what the weather is, and the fact is we're probably in a recession or we're working into one, no matter how many times the Biden administration tries to redefine it and pull an ATF. However, it's a pretty good time to potentially look at silver or gold for not only your current savings, but also your retirement funds. And there's lots of options, and Lear Capital has those answers for you. Now, there's lots of places that you can buy gold and silver, and I choose Lear Capital because I can trust them, and you can too. They have a number on the screen right now where you can find out as much information as you want about your potential to convert some of your retirement into gold or silver through different accounts that you have so you can safeguard your future. There's a number on the screen, as I mentioned. You can go to learlangley.com and make sure you call and inquire about the $15,000 in bonus medals you may qualify for. All right, my brothers and sisters, we have got to dive into three clips from The View. Now, of course, this is all about finding a way to assail your gun rights. But again, this time, the guy in the room actually did a pretty good job. This is the governor from New Hampshire, Republican Governor Chris Sununu. He, uh, he actually does a pretty good job here. Check this out. Here's the first one. I think it's really important. In the last um, 145 days, we've had 241 mass shootings in this country. And as governor, um, you've loosened gun laws in your state, and you hold an A rating from the, for the NRA. You told a friend of our show, Jen Psaki, recently, there's no law you're going to pass that's going to stop mass shootings. There's no law you're going to pass that's just going to magically stop gun violence. However, there was a law that was passed, and that law was passed in 1997. It was a federal assault weapons ban, and it cut it, but 1994, rather, and it cut... Um, gun violence by 70 percent and the mass minute shootings. it was reinstated mass yeah. shoot mass shootings and the minute it was reinstated they went up why yeah. not yeah. put that law back in no place? no no so like, like, understand <laughs> we did not have the mass shootings in the early 90s that we have today it is exponentially worse, right right yeah right. so if your argument look if the argument is if we no just ban. have more gun bans and more gun laws chicago would be the safest place in the country but the all right, well, you can't hit the sacred cow of Chicago and gun control because then you're going to get a pretty illicit response. And you can tell how irritated this makes gun controllers because they have no answer. If you have some of the tightest gun control in the nation, how is it possible you have gun violence? Well, the natural solution for them is to blame someone else, which you're about to see in the next clip. But even then, he tears this asunder in a really great way. You're talking about an assault weapons ban from 1994 of which was a completely different time. We did not have the violence in our nation. We did not have the exact same circumstances. And you even said it wrong. It wasn't gun violence, it was mass shootings. Mass shootings almost didn't exist in the 1990s. However, gun violence, as what they would like to term, shot upward because the tools and the tools were just moving to different types of tools. That's all that happened. We even did a show on Megyn Kelly's clip where she points that out pretty abruptly. But the whole point here is, they have no ground to stand on because he's approaching it from a very clever way. We're going to get to that in one second. But now let's go to the second clip so I can show you what the natural response is. And you can watch her body language. She does not like this answer. But the problem yeah, they have the that, most restricted law. But the problem with that argument yeah. is that the, 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 law, the guns that are used in Chicago are coming from states that have looser okay. gun laws. So look, so... <laughs> So if your argument is we, we should pass, we should area. ban something federally, I remind yeah. you, the Democrats had the House, the Senate, and the presidency for two years. They did nothing. They made a guys, mistake. They did nothing. That was Because a they know, guys, at the, I, I have the safest state in the country. You can talk about the, the validity, the merits of a law are based on the results it gets. I have the, the safest state in the country. So why are we having the mass shootings? It's not because people have access to guns. It's because we're not dealing with mental health. We don't provide access for mental health with kids. When people are in crisis, they have nowhere to turn. They resort to violence. We don't do the right things in terms of locking down our schools and protecting. What's wrong? So he hits a lot there. And the one thing that I really want to dive into is 
he hit almost every single thing in a very effective manner. He goes, we're not dealing with mental health issues. It's, a, it's an issue of the heart and mind is what I always say. We're not dealing with those issues. We're not hardening protecting our schools. And that's a big point. Because on the left, or the left, the gun control side of the aisle, they will say, you're doing nothing. You put forward a bill that says harden and protect all schools. And they say, no, that's insane. You're still doing nothing. It doesn't make any sense. Going back to the original Chicago example, yeah, but all the guns are coming out of the state. That proves the point even further that a gun law will not prevent people who want to commit crimes. If you have a gun law in Chicago and says no guns can be sold here, hypothetically, that's not the law, I'm just saying hypothetically, and that's the idea that there will now be no guns, well, the idea that there are guns there disproves your entire concept. Your entire thesis is disproven by the fact that that little zone is not doing what it's supposed to because criminals are going to criminal. Again, the only people who follow rules are the legal ones. Criminals are going to criminal because if you're going to commit murder, if you're going to commit rape, if you're going to do armed robbery, you've already thrown the rules of society to the wayside. Why would you obey? Well, I was going to do those things, but there's gun laws there, so I can't. That doesn't make any sense on any level, and everyone knows it. But anyway, let me get you to this last one, because this is the part where they go after the AR-15, because you have to, because it's the, it's the demon in the room, all right? And he, his answer is perfect. Wrong with the getting, the issues why, the why, is, why are you holding on to this one gun? Yeah. What is it about this <laughs> one gun? <laughs> The automatic rifle that killed a bunch yeah. of children who were just going to school. That if, gun. If, if that, if you say, well, we're just going to ban, if, again, if it was that easy, the Democrats would have done it. They didn't do it Listen, because they know it's not. Right, that's what about the Democrats the right now. What yeah. are you going to do? No, I'm not banning any guns. I'm going to provide okay. access to mental health. We're going to get at the core of the okay. issue, which that's, is what spurs a lot of the violence. Crazy Very good. All right, so. This is a really important part because they don't like when you say, yeah, the Democrats had full power and they didn't do it. Now, of course, we were saying on this channel the entire time the Democrats had full power, you can go back and check all the videos and receipts. Every single person who's with me then knows we were doing it because I was getting a whole lot of crap for it. But genuinely, they had to overcome the filibuster, which it didn't even get taken up in the House. Chuck Schumer didn't bring forward H.R. 8 and H.R. 1446. None of those things were even introduced. So the whole idea that it was a mistake, the reason it was never introduced is because it wasn't getting over the filibuster and it was blatantly unconstitutional and Democrats weren't going to vote for it. But they can't tell you that. We're not talking about Democrats right now. Now we're talking about Republicans. What are you going to do? But the whole time you said Democrats were going to empower and they were going to ban everything under the sun. It's a never ending game. But anyway, I digress. He goes back to a very brutal point. You're not going to ban more guns because the line never stops. To answer Whoopi's question directly, why is it always this one gun? The reason it's always this one gun is because you're making it about this one gun. If you start talking about banning semi-automatic pistols, I'll start defending semi-automatic pistols. The response is not the problem. The response is the response. That's that simple. If you started attacking 12-gauge shotguns, I'd say, no, we're keeping 12-gauge shotguns. Then you'd say, why are you defending 12-gauge shotguns? Because you're attacking 12-gauge shotguns. It's pretty straightforward and simple. Anyway, that's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.